Pelican Valley Power is um, a very special utility. Um, we are quite unique. Um, we are not-for-profit, and basically our shareholders are the businesses and residences, residents of the city of Santa Clara. So Silicon Valley Power serves the customers within the city limits only of Santa Clara. We are 19 square miles. And so we're a very small area with a very large load. Um, and the main driver of that, of course, is are the data centers. We have just about 50 data centers located in our territory. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to talk about here is why the draw to Santa Clara? Why do they like to locate here? And there's several, several factors to that. So first of all, a little history. We were established in 1896. Um, our budget and our electric rates are set by the, the city council. Um, we have about 54,000 customers and an annual operating budget of about uh, 448 million. And the revenues that we get for the electric, 5% um, go towards the general fund for the city. So that equates about um, out to $30 million. We hit a peak. Uh, demand in megawatts this year, June 11th, of 587, and that equates out to about 3,600 gigawatt hours of uh, energy sales. Um, another unique thing about Silicon Valley Power is our load factor. We have a very high load factor for a utility, and what that means is we don't get peaks in our load throughout the day. It's pretty flat. And that is um, the effect of all of the data centers in our territory. They run 24-7 at a very consistent um, operation level. So thank you for the data centers. <laughs> so a little bit about our infrastructure. We have about 24 substations within our small city limits. Um, four system connection statements, or stations. We have 30 miles of 60 kV power lines, 160 distribution feeders, 591 miles of 12 kV distribution lines, of which 64% of those lines are underground. The majority of the overhead lines serve our residential customers. We have about 11,000 uh, power poles, 5,700 transformers, again, 54,000 customers, 8,100 street lights and pole, uh, street light poles, and 145 fiber miles. So what do we do? So the utility obviously provides electricity to the entire city of Santa Clara. We own generation in town. We have a large combined cycle natural gas power plant, which is the DVR power plant. It serves about, um, well now with our load growth, about a quarter of the city load. We have transmission lines, distribution lines, and we offer our customers energy efficiency programs, rebates. Um, we have solar programs and green power programs. Another attractive benefit for data centers is our fiber system. We lease dark fiber and we are, about 40 of our data centers are connected to our fiber backbone. Um, again, I, we have street lighting, we have a 24-hour dispatch control center, so that's another benefit that the key customer reps offer um, to data centers and our large customers is that anytime there's an outage 
a full feeder outage in our territory, we will get on the phone with our customers and let them know. And we keep in touch with them, let them know the status of the outage, when they're going to be um, re-energized, the power's restored. So a lot of, all the data centers have backup generation, diesel generation. So they're very concerned about how long an outage lasts so that their diesel generators will keep running. They have a, a consistent supply of diesel from fuel for, to get those, keep those generators running. So um, we also have um, outdoor SVP meter connect Wi-Fi throughout the city, which is free. And again, um, the key customer representatives, we have three right now. Um, we help our largest customers navigate through the city process for whatever project that they're going to be constructing, um, projects that they need to, existing projects that, that they need more power for. So whenever there's a roadblock um, in other city departments, um, we are there to help and alleviate those, um, those bottlenecks for our customers so that the, they can get the power when they need it. Again, on our fiber enterprise, um, we have a 145-mile backbone. We have a dedicated fiber group, um, flexible pricing and terms, um, again, 24 by 7 monitoring. All of our substations in the city are connected to each other via the fiber backbone. Um, our fiber group, or our fiber business, is about three hundred million dollars annually. Um, the fiber does connect all city offices, connects all of the Santa Clara Unified School District uh, schools, and about, uh, like I said before, about forty data centers. Here's just an example of the large customers in our territory. We have customers anywhere from manufacturing, um, medical devices, um, chip manufacturing, um, gaming, uh, of course the data centers. So, um, and with the large customers come new technologies. Um, big on AI. Uh, and self-driving technology. So, and those those um, customers, because there's a lot of data generated with those technologies, they use a lot of power. And another thing about the utility, we've got the gamut of customers. We've got a stadium. We've got a hospital. We've got a university, so um, it's, it's, we're a well-rounded utility. This is always an interesting slide to, for people to digest. So our residential customer counts a little over 48,000, um, but the residential load only equates out to 6.5% in the city, which is very unique for a utility. It's usually flipped between residential and your commercial and industrial. So our commercial and industrial sales make up 91% of our KWH sales. So we're very unique in that respect. So what that indicates is we've got a lot of large companies that use a lot of power. So. Also, we are a very green utility, and we have resources within the state and resources outside of the state. Um, we are, we've got a plethora of resources. We've got hydro, we've got geothermal, we've got solar, 
we've got wind. So, and right now, as, as our load grows, we are procuring and focusing on um, only bringing in carbon-free resources to our portfolio. We are on target to meet California's renewable portfolio standard of 33% renewables by 2020, and then 50% um, renewables by 2050. So we are on target for that. And this shows you what our power content label is. We've currently 32% renewables, 34% natural gas, and 11% uh, large hydro. 23% is from the market, so if we have to go out spot and spot buy on the market, it's, it's a, a bunch of different um, electric resources. So our load growth, again, we are unique in that most utilities in California, their growth is remaining flat or declining a bit. Our load growth has consistently increased for the past, say, 14 years. We've had consistent load growth. So with that load growth becomes a set, there's a set of challenges with that. And with so many data centers reloc or locating here, um, we have to procure enough resources to cover that load. We also need to make sure that our bulk electric system is capable of handling that load. And so there's a lot of capital projects that we've embarked upon in the last three years to be ready to serve that load. Um, we are gearing up to be a one gigawatt size utility. So this, this shows you a little bit about, I don't know where my headings went, but anyway, this, sh this shows you um, the trajectory of our load growth over the, um, the past several years. Um, so you can see consistently we're on an upward trend. We don't see that um, changing. Um, we've got a lot of substation projects in the queue. Um, and that is going to add about another 400 megawatts of load um, over the next several years. So, um, you know, things that are driving that are, are going to be your AI, your self, your automated, self automated driving cars, um, big data. So, and a lot of the data centers want to locate to Santa Clara because of the low latency. That's key. So we've got gaming companies here that, like NVIDIA, that um, need that low latency for their, um, you know, their customers um, on, the, on the video game end of things. Here's a snapshot of what, how SVP compares to our surrounding utility in pricing. So if we look at the large industrial customer um, segment here, the CB3, um, we are about, on average, the average cost per kilowatt hour is 12 cents. So if you look at PG&E's equivalent rate, the E20P, um, they're about 16 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're about 26% 26, 26 lower. So when you're looking at power, which is the biggest cost for a data center, that 26% is a huge difference, absolutely huge. So 
As I mentioned before, um, there's challenges to be to being able to serve these um, large growth customers. So we are embarking, we have embarked on several capital improvement projects that allow us to do so. Um, so we are expanding our receiving stations, which are connected into um, the bulk electric system and into PG&E system. Um, we're going to be procuring larger transformers at our receiving stations and modernizing our control systems. And then um, we will be analyzing a new transmission connection between SVP's two receiving stations to um, increase our load serving ability. So lots of projects. These projects don't happen overnight. They are over the course of several years. So another thing I wanted to mention was when data centers come into our territory, they say we're going to be 100 megawatts. So, you know, with our past experience, we know that's not quite the case. Um, a lot of times, maybe the load that they will get to is about half that. So that presents a challenge to SVP because being part of the grid and part of the Cal ISO grid, we have to procure energy um, and have resource adequacy that's 15% over um, what our load's going to be. So we have to procure extra energy. So if we don't get good forecasts from these data centers, um, we quite possibly could be over procuring energy. So my main goal is to really work with the data centers to get some sort of meaningful load from them so that we can keep costs down for our customers and the data centers are not spending more money than they need to be. So um, that's one of the challenges. Um, other projects that, so I think one of the other reasons that the data centers really like to locate in, in Silicon Valley, Santa Clara, is because we're a smaller, more nimbler utility, and you have the key customer reps that really handhold these customers and take them through the process. So generally, we can meet the service dates of these customers, and we, we get it that it's time to market for a lot of these data centers. We get that. So we do everything in our power to meet their delivery, you know, their energization timelines. Um, but there's challenges to that, and we're in close contact and open communication with these customers. So um, we can work through uh, the whole city process and, and kind of iron out the wrinkles. For most of the data centers, they have to deal with the California Energy Commission to um, cite their backup generation. And so that's kind of a long and arduous process. Also, there's also the CEQA process, which they have to navigate through. So we help with that. So, time's up. so we're here for you. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions, and thank you. Thank you, Wendy. I have to add, as a customer of Santa Clara Utilities,